Hey there, welcome to Doll Motion, the channel where we use old unwanted dolls and turn them into new characters for a stop motion animated series. In this video, we're going to make the winning Divas concept from a contest I held on Patreon. The winning concept is a male jackalope who is 30 years old, hot headed, bald, and a bit sassy. Also, this character lives in the Old West, as in he looks like a cowboy. Huh, a great concept to turn into a doll. But first, um, what is a jackalope actually? Well, it's a mythical animal from American folklore and described as a rabbit, hare or jackrabbit with antlers. The legend says these shy creatures can mimic sounds and even human voices. And also their milk can be used for medical practices. Okay. Although a very interesting myth, it's later discovered certain leopards, bodies and hairs can have the show papilloma virus. A virus that can cause a horn-like texture that usually grows from the head. And this is probably the source of the jackalope myth. But how am I going to include the jackalope myth into the Divas universe? I already made it clear, hybrid human-like animal characters don't exist in my series. As in, if a wolf and a fox character had a child, it would be a wolf or a fox, and not a mix. But what if there is a very, very, very small chance sometimes a hybrid can be born? Well, our jackalope character is a hybrid and lived many years ago in the Old West, where he was treated as an outcast. Well, with this in mind, let's make Jack the jackalope. If you listened to my riddle in my last repaint video, and your answer was the jackalope, then you were correct. This video will have a new riddle, so stay tuned until the end. For this custom, I'm going to use this very articulated male body. I also used for my Peos repaint video. And this DC Superheroes girl's hat. They have a very gender neutral mold and can easily be used for a female or male custom. But first, let's prep the head. I cut the hair as close to the head as possible. Yeah, I wanted to take the remaining hairs out through the neck opening, but the glue is pretty solid. So I made an incision in the back of the head, which will be pretty useful later. He's getting a long ear so his human ears can go. I usually just throw them away, but why not collect them this year? <laughs> Jack is 30 years old, so that means more animal features. Although the word jackalope is a combination of jackrabbit and antelope, his mother is going to be a deer. Because I found the antlers of a deer more inspiring to make. This means he'll be getting the bent legs as well. If he was just a jackrabbit, his legs would have been straight, because hares are plenty great animals. A mistake I made on Julie. Well, let's fix this in storyline. Jack is an ancestor to Julie, and the bent legs gene was passed to her, to make her even more of a supermodel. No, that's fixed. Let's go back to the custom. I want Jack's body to have a light brown tone. For this, I'll be using red dye more. Here we go. And don't mind the future doll repaint in the back. And here we have the doll body. Some parts are way darker. But the joints are the right color, so it's a success. To attach the legs back to the body, I use sticks, tape and epoxy glue. Mm -hmm. 
like I already said in the beginning of the video, having a slit in the back of the head makes it easier to attach the antlers from the inside. Just like the armature of the antlers, I made the long ears out of wire and a bit of bandage tape for a base. And like in my Jolene repaint video, they will be covered with air drying foam for flexibility. Wait for the foam to get dry and attach them to the head. Now the slit in the back of the head can be closed with super glue. And now that we're in an epoxy state, let's also give him a prop. An old western rifle, which I'm going to make out of sticks. Okay, epoxy time. First, mixing A and B together, I fill in the gaps on his legs. To make his face suit the bold personality better, he needs a scar. One that goes over his chin and upper lip. Now we can continue with epoxy. He'll be cutting his jackrabbit upper lip and teeth, but also a few sharp pointy teeth. The Wolpertinger, a similar mythical creature to the jackalope, has cat teeth. I find it kind of cool, so why not give Jack the same features? I'm not forgetting those deer antlers. When the epoxy sculpt is dry, we can send it down for a better transition. The same for the rifle. To be sure, I like to give it a small layer of super glue for security. And now we can spray can the doll's body and head in one solid color. Hairs have a cute white belly, so I'm going to hand paint this on with a bony white color. Which I can also use for the antlers. To seal everything in, I use a few layers of matte varnish and a final spray of Miss Soup Clear. Time for the face up. With a dark brown watercolor pencil, I sketch in the face. After that, I paint in my guidelines with acrylic paint. Yes, he will be getting yellow eyes. Yeah, as you can see, I gave him a sassy smirk on the right side which reveals more sharp teeth. And now that I'm shading the eyes with pastel powders, let's answer the question of the day. Question by Nan. What's your favorite Divas episode so far? Oh, um, I have a few I like. I like episode 5, with the introduction of James. Episode 13, with the introduction of Gregory. But my favorite episode so far is episode 31. Because I really like animating action scenes. Thank you for your question. And if you have a question of the day, please leave it in the comment section. So I can answer it in a future repaint video. Back to the repaint. He's a tough boy, so I'm going to add some bruises on his face. To seal in the face up, I'm going to use Mr. Super Clear. And to give those eyes, lips and teeth some shine, I'm going to use a high gloss varnish. Before I forget, I'm going to make a hole in the lower back for his fluffy tail. To make his fluffy tail, hair and flocked ears, we will be needing to prep some yarn. Comb it and make it shiny and flat. To make flock, 
I cut yarn in teeny tiny pieces. To make the flock stay on the ears, I use a fabric glue and just dab on the flock. For his tail, I'm going to use pre-made wefts and a hot glue gun. But not forgetting that black tip all hairs have. Now the tail can be secured to the body with super glue. I also make yarn vest for his hair, which I'm going to glue on with a glue kit for a more precise look. Using a hot glue gun can get kinda messy, especially around those antlers. I like the long hairdo, but I have a shorter hairstyle in mind, so let's trim it with the eyebrow razor. Using pins for a better reach, I cover the human ear marks with flock. Like all my male characters in the Divas universe, he's getting two bushy eyebrows. <laughs> Don't worry, he's getting a trim. For this outfit, I'll be using the same pattern I used for James. But I'll be altering the pattern to fit the longer legs and torso of this doll body. I made him a simple shirt, a jacket with red lining on the inside, which I'm very proud of I succeed in making. To make the loner outcast personality more believable, I'm going to rough up his jacket and jeans. I also made him a teeny tiny belt and buttons. Now we can go to the accessory state. A nice red scarf would be great. I'm not sure how these kind of scarves are called, but I'm going to make the one with the white lines, using a white gel pen. Well, he can't go barefoot, so let's give him these can shoes. I painted a tone darker. A real cowboy can't go outside without a hat. Luckily, I have a spare one laying around from a credible world set. Sadly, Jack won't be able to wear the hat on his head because of those antlers. But he can wear it around his neck. And of course, his rifle. I gave it a little trigger and painted into the right colors. And with this, the doll is done.
Although Jack has his special place in the Divas universe, Jack is already with his new owner in America, together with a little friend. This chibi can is repaint. You can watch little chibi repaints on my Instagram at dollymotion. And if you're interested in a brand new repaint video, I have a new repaint video for you on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Foxy Man, which includes the making of of the characters of James Fox, Divas Jokers Vulpus, and Richard Fox. But don't worry, it will take a while, but eventually this video will also come to YouTube. But by becoming a supporter, I can make brand new videos for YouTube. So, I would like to thank my lovely Patreon, Kei Namaru and everyone else on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Thank you. And before I go, here's the riddle for the next repaint video. I'm often seen with feathers so grey, in the city I will pass the day. From park to rooftop I will take flight, sometimes I'm called a messenger inside. What am I? Do you know this animal? Let me know in the comment section. And we will see if you are right in two weeks. And like always, don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next repaint video. Bye!